Hello and welcome back to another one of my Art of Book Reviews. This time it's not so much Art of, so much as a comic book series. Um, you're very familiar, I'm sure, with Netflix's, and they're proud of it too, Hilda, which is a comic book by Luke Pearson. Um, Luke Pearson also has done several, I mean, he's he's totally legit artist. He's, this is not like a one-off for him. He has another comic called Everything We Miss, which looks really in-depth. Um, I couldn't find it on Amazon, so I don't know the details of it, but there's some information on his website, which you can find above. Um, he's also done several editorial illustrations for many, many different magazines, including The New Yorker. Um, and it looks like he's written and storyboarded a couple episodes of Adventure Time, which I am a huge fan of. Um, I love Hilda. I watch Hilda. I listen to Hilda on my phone in my pocket with an earphone when I'm at work. I love the writing. I love the story. I love everything about it. So I thought for sure I'd love the books. And you know what? I do. However, the books are not exactly the same as the Netflix series, which I'll discuss in a minute. Um, and I only have these two. The thing, first thing about these books is their paperback, um, which is great. I have one and two. Um, which I don't remember which is which now that I'm looking at it. I think this is one and this is two maybe. Or this is one, this is one and this is two. Yeah, one, two. Um, but when I got these books, the first thing I noticed that actually irritates me a little bit, because I'm the person who likes to look at them on the shelf, is that these two books are two completely different sizes. They are different heights and they are also different widths. Um, which isn't a terrible big thing, big deal, but it, it doesn't make for a good set, really. Um, obviously, these were printed after Netflix made this a series, uh, which could have something to do with different sizes. Eight inches wide, eight and a quarter inches wide, uh, 11 inches tall, 11 and a half inches tall. Um, and there might be a reason for that. Like, I might have ordered two different sizes, but I just ordered straight off Netflix, and then it said you, when you order this one, you might order this one, or vice versa. Sorry about my son. He's in a he's in a hopping, grunting mood. Um, so, easy to read, good colors. They feel great. Um, the shiny cover, the, the Hilda is shiny, Twig is shiny, the text is shiny on both, but the background is not. It makes an interesting feature. Um, so, we decided this one was first. Love the printed end pages. Love his style. And like I said, I got these on Amazon, so... So the style that he's drawing in is a little different than the Netflix style, and it kind of makes it its own thing, so that sounds terrible. Like I, like, I think that he's not his own thing. He, of course, is his own thing. I appreciated the map that has Hilda's house, the wilderness, these lovely forest giants, the woodman's house, which was not featured in the series yet, the new series is coming out on Monday, so who knows what that will entail. I will probably watch the whole series in one solid day. So it starts out her house. Um, I might mention when you read this that the mom and Hilda are slightly different characters than they are in the series. The Hilda in this book was a little more... She was a little more obnoxious, like a little less adventurous and optimistic. And the mom was actually a little more optimistic and a and a little more adventurous. Um, I highly recommend it. It is a great read, especially if you like Hilda. I love the art style. I like that it's different enough. It's got a, it's got a grittier feel to it, which I very much appreciate. I love the sharpener, the broken pencil. So if you're familiar with the series, this is the point where she gets the troll, or she draws the troll, which is how the series starts. Um, and then she gets away from the troll and she comes across a forest giant. And then she ends up at the woodman's house, which is different. So it's almost like if you love Hilda, you'll love these books because it's her world and it's her story, but you're getting a different perspective. Also, I love the woodman in the series, but I really like the woodman in this. Love the color choices. And then, of course, the back of the book is full of interesting extras, trolls and bells. And then the woodman's little comic there. It's cute. Poor him. Sketches, drawings, which you, if you're watching my series, you know I'm a fan of. Sketches and drawings. Love to see the process. And then, of course, the advertisement for the rest of the books. Because, let's face it, it's a multi-million dollar making series. Well loved on Netflix. This one has much the same attitude to it. I mean, obviously, same author, same time frame. 
And again, it follows closely, but not quite the same. So it's like stepping into the series again from the move from the, the, it's like stepping into the series from the TV show, but then getting a slightly different skew on it, which I appreciate. Oh, I love how the, the little elf looks in this. Um, and Arthur, Arthur, Artur, Artur. Oh gosh, what's the elf's name? He's not a, he's not a, uh, as massive a feature character yet. I obviously have only read the first two books. She's so pretty. I love her shape. She's a mountain. Yeah, I, I mean, I highly recommend the comics. These were, I think, eleven dollars each on. Netflix, not a terrible in amount to invest. Um, I'm looking forward to getting the rest, and when I get the rest, I will let you know how I feel about all of this, and I hope that everybody thoroughly enjoys the new series coming out on Monday on Netflix. Um, give Luke Pearson's website a look-see. He's got an amazing amount of things on there.